If you're thinking, I'm supposed to trash these treasured greeting cards, your brain is probably saying, heck no, that is not gonna happen, no way, no how. That sounds incredibly painful. Just that word is very harsh and aggressive, isn't it? If you've been telling yourself, I should trash this stuff, it's really not that important, but also you don't believe that, you're gonna be at a standstill. You're gonna be frozen, you're gonna be stuck. You are listening to the Decluttering Club podcast. I'm your host, Sarah Mueller, and it's my mission to equip women to declutter their homes, their time, and their lives so that they have energy for what matters most. You are listening to the Decluttering Club podcast, episode number 77. We're going to dive into a tricky subject today. I got an email from a dear, dear listener and she asked me, what do I do with greeting cards? So we're going to dig into that today. Are you ready? Shout out to Carolyn for sending in this question to me. And so she had said that she had boxes and boxes of greeting cards and she didn't know what to do with them. So she's kind of thinking, I really need to throw these away. I actually, the word she used was trash. She said, you're probably going to tell me to trash them, but I'm having a really hard time doing that. And so can you help? And of course the answer is absolutely. I can totally help with this. So first of all, I am not going to tell you to trash things. We don't work that way. That is not how we operate around here. And if you're thinking I'm supposed to trash these treasured greeting cards, your brain is probably saying, heck no, that is not gonna happen. No way, no how. That sounds incredibly painful. Just that word is very harsh and aggressive, isn't it? If you've been telling yourself I should trash this stuff, it's really not that important, but also you don't believe that your brain is telling you they are important. How could I possibly throw these special things in the trash? You're going to be at a standstill. You're going to be frozen. You're going to be stuck. So rule number one, you don't have to throw anything away. Now, this woman clearly thinks that there is a good reason for her to let these things go. She just doesn't know how to do it. And that's what we're going to dig into here. So there's typically a thought that is coming up for you if you are telling yourself, I really should let these things go, especially like greeting cards. I know they are have a particular challenge for a lot of people. So I have some ideas about what might be stopping you. So we're going to talk about that. And then we're going to talk about different ways to think about it. And then we're going to talk about what you can do. So the first thing is, what what is coming up? What are your thoughts about this? Like, why can't you just throw them away or let them go? Well, this is what I'm thinking. You may be thinking something like, how can I trash these cards? I should trash these sweet cards. Now, again, that feels really, really awful, doesn't it? Trash and treasured cards do not belong in the same sentence. So if you're thinking something like this, then number one, you got to stop that. That is not a useful thought. Trash and cards do not belong in the same thought if you want to make progress, if you want to take action. Maybe that's not what you're thinking. Maybe you're thinking something like someone took the time to send me this card and it's disrespectful to let it go. We can see how that would be a problem. If you're thinking it's disrespectful to do this and you're not a person who likes to be disrespectful, you're going to have a problem. So that is another thought that is problematic. Maybe that's not what you're thinking. Maybe what you're thinking is these are all I have left of this person. Ooh, that's a painful thought too, isn't it? If you think all I have left of this person is this card or these cards, then yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be hard. That's going to, you're going to be stuck. That's another one. Or maybe you're thinking something like, I need these cards to remember this person. I need them. I can't remember that person unless I have the card. Or maybe you're thinking, I need to look through each card in order to do this work and I don't want to dissolve into a puddle of tears and I don't have a hundred hours to do this. So these are all of the thoughts or like some of the thoughts that you may be experiencing when you're thinking I should get rid of this stuff, especially with greeting cards because I know they are kind of their own special breed. Those are some of the thoughts. Now, here is the truth. Are you ready? Tough love time. Your relationship to a person is not in a card. The card does not contain your relationship to that person. 
And we know this because you can't give me that card and I know everything about your relationship for that person. It, it doesn't work that way. You can give me that card that is so incredibly meaningful to you. And I, I could say, it's a lovely card, but I am not going to understand anything about your relationship to that person. Your relationship to other people is in your thoughts. This is where it exists. You experience it in your mind. And this is such good news because what it means is we don't need any particular item to experience the relationship. We don't need the person. We don't need the card. We don't need any of that. Now, those things are useful. They're reminders. But the relationship is not in those things. And it's a really, really important thing to remember because if you think my relationship is in these cards, then you're never going to want to throw the card away because you're like, that's throwing away the relationship. But that's not the way it works. Again, you don't need the card. You can think about that person. You could think about the card and you could be in a different room or you could be away from home and you could still experience those feelings. So we don't need the thing to enjoy the relationship. That person doesn't even have to be alive anymore. You can still think about your relationship. You can still experience that person after they have passed on. Now, it might be harder. It's a lot easier if they're sitting in front of you, of course. But we, I don't want you to think that that person is completely like unavailable to you if they're not in your presence, because it's not true. You can experience them here in your mind. And it is such good news. And it's important for us to know this because now we can still enjoy these people whether or not they are with us. This is such a beautiful thing. The next thing I want you to know is that the purpose of a card is to communicate. So it's happy birthday. It's I'm thinking of you. It's get well soon. It's congratulations on your baby or your wedding. It's to send a message. That's why people send cards. And so once it's done its job, its job is complete. It's done its job. And so if you're hanging on to cards after they have done their job, you're expecting them to do a different job. You're like, yeah, 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 I got the message, but now I have a new job for you. <laughs> and that new job is to remind me of stuff. And so that's fine. You can do that. But the question is, do you need all of these cards to remind me you of these things? Are the cards actually doing what you want them to do? Or are they just sitting there? Are you expecting them to do something that they are no longer able to do? Because the message has been delivered. You can only deliver a message one time. So be aware and kind of spend a little time thinking about that. Are you expecting something from these cards that they are not able to provide to you? Maybe their job has been completed. It's okay to keep them after their job has been completed, but just be aware. And maybe you're experiencing a disconnect because you're like, I'm kind of in this like no man's land. Um, it's probably because the cards have done their job. They communicated to you. Now you're, you're expecting something else from them. And that's just not the way that they were designed. I'm going to say that the purpose of a card is to communicate. And when the purpose has been fulfilled, then you can release it. And this brings me to my final point. I don't want you to use the word trash or maybe even recycle. That can be very like, it's a loaded word. So instead of saying I should trash these cards or they need to go in the recycle or I don't need them anymore. I don't want you to talk like that. I want you to say things like I'm ready to release them. It's okay to let them go. Imagine putting like a little boat on a pond and it just kind of drifts away. Like we don't have to be all harsh and uh, have all these ideas of these things going in the trash and going to the landfill. Like, well, let's not think about that. Let's just think of like letting them go. Like the thoughts are just kind of floating along, just kind of going out into the universe. We can release these things just like we can release the thoughts. And it's just a much better, more 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 pleasant, peaceful way to think about it. We can talk about trashing stuff or we can talk about letting it go or releasing it. Maybe think about a balloon floating up to the sky. It just kind of drifts away. We can do the same thing with cards. Now the actions might be the same. Maybe you set them in the recycle bin, but it's all about the way that you think about what you're doing. That is the important thing. So if we're gonna tell a story that's gonna serve us, it's gonna be so much easier to let them go. So let's not talk about trashing them. Let's not talk about sending them to the landfill. Let's talk about letting them go and releasing them. 
Maybe you want to do something a little bit more special. Maybe you want to burn them. That is a very cleansing, healing way to let things go, especially papers. There's something like cleansing and purifying in, in the form of fire. So maybe that kind of appeals to you. Like maybe you're going to burn them and then the smoke is going to just kind of take away some of the pain as it goes up into the sky. That might be a nice way to do it. And then the final point here that I want to make is that some people think I need to look at every card before I can let it go, before I can make a decision about it. And the truth is you don't have to look at every card. Maybe you want to look at every card, but maybe you don't want to look at every card. And I would suggest then that either you decide, I'm just going to let them all go or release them, or maybe you just randomly select out a very small like number. So maybe you say, I'm going to just pull 10 randomly and those are the ones I'm going to keep. Or I'm going to pull the first 10 I find that have an actual message in them and then the rest, I'm just going to let them go. We're so afraid of losing things and missing out on things that we're missing out on the life that we're living right now. What is happening right now is the thing that I want you to be cherishing and treasuring. And if you're spending too much time kind of trying to catalog the past, you're missing out on the present. And the present is really all that we have. All those things that we have from the past, they're kind of kind of like a shadow. They might be a nice reminder, but they're never as good as the real thing. That's why we're so disappointed. They're never as good as the real thing. And they start to break down. They start to kind of fall apart. The handwriting gets faded. They're just never as good as the real thing. So I really don't want you to spend a lot of time trying to preserve the past. I want you to be rooted in the present. And that could be you enjoying that person or that memory today. Enjoy that today. Spend some time there. That is being in the present as opposed to trying to just sort through and like kind of scoop up memories of the past in these cards. So think about that. You don't have to go through every card. You don't have to read them all unless you want to, um, but that is optional. Again, you can keep whatever you want, 100%. But I just want you to make sure that you like the consequences of the things that you are keeping. Do you like the price you're paying or would you rather have it be different? And you don't have to go through all those boxes. You don't have to keep them. You get to decide exactly what this looks like. Now, it doesn't mean that it's going to be easy, especially if you've been telling yourself all kinds of stories about how important these things are. It might be challenging. It might hurt a little. There might be some grief involved, and that's okay. That doesn't mean that you're doing the wrong thing. It just means that this is a special thing or this person was special, and you're missing them. That's all that that means. So... If greeting cards are something that you want to let go of or that you want to process through, see if these tips help. Let me know if if this resonates with for you. Let me know if you have let go of some greeting cards and how that worked out for you. I'll see you next week, everyone. Take care. That's all we have for you today. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave us a review. It would really help us to get the word out. And if you'd like to continue your decluttering journey with us, find us on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube at Decluttering Club, or on our website at thedeclutteringclub.com.